I've just got back from Germany, been there for a couple of weeks, played a fair few shows and it was crazy, like drove a lot, slept not that much, ate a lot of curry versed, oh, it was pretty amazing. Got to ride synth bike around a load of crazy places. So we played in Complex in Schwerin and a fella called Ghost X Labor came up and gave me this. Whew. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Basically this is a Yamaha PSS 280 and it's an old like toy keyboard pretty much. And what he's done is he's basically circuit bent it and broke it out into this awesome like top bit that's got all the wires coming out of the back into the front of this and broken out on the front with loads of patch bays. I've played it a fair few times and every single time I've turned it on it's done something completely different. The name Ghost X Labors is basically dedicated to the ghost inside the machine. Every single machine has a different ghost and every single ghost has a different personality. This looks like a cigar box so he's you know he's upcycling a lot of stuff and he's making new machines with it. Definitely check it out, it's absolutely crazy. So halfway through the gig in Schwerin, uh, I invited him up to come and play this whilst I was playing on the modular and it worked together really well because this is really unpredictable. It just makes loads of random like <laughs> and it works really nicely over the top of the synth. Today, I'm gonna try and recreate some of the patches. Let's play with it. When you turn it on, it can't have any patches in it because it'll get confused and crash straight away. So I'm going to turn it on without anything in it. Woo. Oh, but then the amazing demonstration song. Hey. It's absolutely amazing. So I guess I'm going to start with the demonstration song. I'm just going to... Every time you plug something up, it does something completely different, so I have no idea. Ooh. It's nice already. Oh, how cool is that? The really cool thing is he's added switches, so you can make them, you can find the circuit bend you like, and then add a switch in between it. Man, there's some weird stuff. I haven't heard this kind of side of it before. He's added a switch over here as well, which apparently the ground of the keyboard just plugs straight up and makes some weird bends. So it's running at 120 BPM, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the modular and I'm going like, to play something that's about 120 BPM and see if they both sync up. I don't know what he's doing now. Oh. Oh. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that, that's nice. I think the ghost is tired right now. So I'm back to the standard sound. Apparently, if I... Drone time! beat in the background and hopefully so that's quite nice takes a little while to find a patch but when you find it craziness that you can get from this machine is well I don't think I found the amount of craziness that it can produce yet I haven't found its 100% potential I don't think I'll ever be able to get to the bottom of this because there's a lot of weird stuff going on in here oh see oh you don't know what it is it's like playing it's like 